Hello and welcome to another video and a major update for Counter-Strike 2 has finally dropped and what we get is the Armory. Now this isn't quite an operation per se but we do get to activate some passes and get some uh, gold stars or credits as they call them to use them in one of nine different shops. We've got an all new addition of charms as well as what, three different collections and a new weapons case and some stickers. But let's just uh, take it one thing at a time. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any new content update from a gameplay perspective. So again, no uh, operation, no missions, no uh, no co-op, uh, op like co-op missions either. First thing that we see here is the limited edition item. It looks like everyone gets a chance to basically get this one deagle it's called the desert eagle heat treated it looks very much like a case hardened but like a newer version it looks a lot like there's a lot more detail and uh, according to the official page on the uh, armory update on steam it is randomized so they say forged in fire each heat treated desert eagle is unique in its wear and pattern available for a limited time in the armory now, judging by how many credits we are able to earn in every single pass, again, we can buy up to five of them, and each pass costs £12.50, which comes out to, what, 31 pence per credit that we earn, roughly. So, if this is this costs 25 then each deagle is going to be worth about £8 um, on the Steam market. I'm calling it now probably a little bit less than that, at least until they disappear. Obviously, um, we don't know whether there is uh, only one of them you can activate. Or maybe one per pass, or if you can just spend all of your money on, on these and uh, waste all of it. Um, I do wonder whether there's gonna be, you know, more blue or more uh, amber in it. I guess we'll see as more people open these and, uh, and sell them on the Steam market. The next thing that has been added is you've got your charms, so we've got two sets of different charms for now, and I think it's worthwhile to notice that pretty much everything out of uh, out of here, aside from the limited uh, edition skin, is uh, basically just like opening cases. I know in previous operations and previous shops like this one from operations, you were able to choose whatever you wanted to drop, so we had a lot of people dropping the uh, Glock uh, Gamma Doppler, I believe, now you can only use three credits to open a random one of these. We got the the hot wurst charm. I'm not sure what to think about these yet. I haven't seen them in uh, in game so much. Uh, they look interesting, but I don't know. Maybe maybe the, there will be some more interesting uh, styles and charms released with time. We've got the second one as well, which is just many versions of guns. We've got your baby AK. Um, also a baby AK, but it's die cast. Oh god, that just looks like it's not been uh, It's not been textured properly and The rarest of the baby karate Would have been really a lot cooler if it was like a karambit or Something else and you've got the baby karat CT Like in all, in all in all honesty this semi precious looks a lot better than the, than the red one Oh yeah, so you get a, a bunch of new charms that you can apply anywhere on your weapon. Next things, we've got the three new collections. We've got Overpass 2024, Graphic Collection, and Sports and Field Collection. We're not gonna go over every single skin here. I'm mostly just gonna look at the reds and the purples and the pinks maybe. You got the AK-47 B the Monster. I think this is the first skin which just straight up has uh, like really cool golden effects. I know there was the AK Arabesque. But this one actually has some more texture to it and some more form. Yeah, it kind of looks like someone spray painted some gold on top of it. It's it's really nice. I, I like it. I think it will be worth a lot in the in the Steam market once it uh, it's available. And again, like the uh, charms, you only get a chance to get something good out of this. I'm not the biggest fan of that, I'm gonna be honest, because one, you cannot buy these credits, so you have a limited amount of chances to basically open these uh, collections and even if I spent all of my credits all 200 of my credits I might still not get the AK-47B the monster and that's kind of disappointing 
Like, I, I can't imagine just spending so much money on that. To buy all of these passes, I need to spend about £62. And imagine just spending £62 and not even getting the AK. Like, that's that's crazy to me. But what else is uh, is nice? We got another Zeus skin. The Dragon Snore. That's cute. Not sure if I would go for, go for this one. But uh, we don't have enough white skins. So I think having a nice white skin is, uh, is definitely a good thing. We got the Op Krakow. Another anime skin. We got Iron of Zappums and Monster Melt. And I think that's the... Oh, wow. Okay. A lot more sort of uh, baby slash vapor wave. Kind of creepy. But let's see the other one. We've got the graphic collection. This op CMYK. Oh. I think that looks really nice. That's, uh, that's a really good skin. You've got as well the Og Lil Pig. I don't know, kind of kind of boring for a pink in my opinion. It's got the gold uh, accents as well, just like the o overpass red. This Desert Eagle Starcade, that's got to be the uh, best uh, deagle out of here. Oh, all of those little sparkles. So much detail. And you've got, what, M4A4 Polysoup, an Attack Vector P90, and I think last purple is the Auto Slalom. There's a whole bunch of really, like, crappy skins, I think, in, uh, in these collections. You get, like, AK-47 Crossfader. That's kind of interesting, but also very muted. I think it looks very much like a Elite Museo, <laughs> in a way. And the third collection here that we've got is the Sport and Field with the M4A1 as Fade. This might be the first time that I actually end up buying a fade. Um, if I manage to get myself uh, one of those before they rise up in value ridiculously, I can already see the these collections being hyper expensive once they stop dropping. Unless Valve decide to back out of the fact that you can't buy any credits, in which case, I mean, they're, they're gonna drop heavily. After like uh, an update drops that they allow buying credits, that's gonna make a, a hell of a difference. But uh, until then, I think that M4A1 as Fade is gonna be worth a lot. People who want the full, uh, like, full Fade inventory, they're probably gonna be looking for that. You got a Glock 18 Axia. Arguably better than the Gamma Fade from the previous operation that we had. I approve. I like that glitter kind of thing. We got the Galil AR Rainbow Spoon. I don't know why it's called the Rainbow Spoon. Like... I'm pretty sure that we had skins like this and they had been called something completely different. And you've got a Crimson Foil UMP45. Pretty cool skin, I think. Kind of looks like a, a fade, but without the fade. It's just pink. A Heat Treated Arctic Tritone and then it's just uh, the 5.7 Heat Treated, which is basically, again, like the case hardened. Actually, yeah, that's kind of funny that they chose this skin to, to get the heat-treated uh, effect when there is already a case-hardened 5.7. But, hey, at least this one isn't uh, a perfect mirror. So you can see already here that there is some different patterns on the uh, reverse side compared to the play side. Interesting choice. And then we get on to the case, the new case. You've got new community-made weapon finishes. I think this, this case is gonna be garbage. I don't think anyone is gonna buy it. I think this is gonna be one of the worst ones. The knife out of this one is the Kukri knife, again. And I think this M4A1S Vaporwave is... I don't know, it just doesn't speak to me. It doesn't speak to me at all. I'm not a big fan. I don't think it will be worth a lot of money. But then again, this like Glock 18 Gold Tooth doesn't look good either. I mean, this kind of... Like, I don't want to see my gun's gums. Yeah, very, very odd choice in my opinion. You got the uh, Neo Noir UMP now. To add to the collection, you've got the P250 Epicenter. That's kind of nice. Uh, I think uh, I'd play with that. AK-47 Outsiders. Rapid Transit. Alright, okay, so there's just like a map of a metro or something. P90 Randy Rush. Uh, another Mac 10 with a face on it. Ooh, Hydro Strike. 
That looks really nice. But I'm a big fan of blue, so. M4A4 turbine. Yeah, kind of like looks like a, like it would be a purple, so that makes sense. And you've got some onion. Well, okay, that's actually pretty nice. Got some blues, hypnosis, looks trim, and that thing. Oh, and a, a blue desert eagle. Looks kind of like a naga. It's got those uh, sort of effects on it, but at least it's different. And I think that takes us to the last sort of major addition, and that's these two sets of stickers. And as you can see, all of these are seemingly meant to be for crafting, like custom crafts. So you've got your like fire effects that you can add on top of each other and stack them. I think that's gonna bring out the creativity and all of the players. So I do have to appreciate this. Uh, you got your like googly eyes and uh, clown noses. Yeah, I gotta say this pinnacle of uh, game design. You get a red clown nose. And that costs you, what, like 60 pence? <laughs> and along with all of these new stickers comes a change that I have been looking for Valve to make for a long, long time now. And that's the ability to preview the scraping of a sticker. So you can basically scrape them as little or as much as you want, which is amazing in my opinion. Because uh, we've been missing that. I mean, I've been making videos about uh, about uh, like scraping of uh, stickers for a long time, just because there was no way to do it. And uh, yeah, it's it's like finally in the game. You just hit a slider, as you can see on this uh, little uh, GIF. And yeah, I, I, a feature that should have been in the game since the very beginning. Outside of all of the cool new skins and uh, items that we're getting, there is a couple of uh, quality of life improvements. We've got some animation updates for running and uh, slope animations, as well as I think like ladder crouching, etc. Not much in the changes uh, gameplay wise, graphics wise. You get like display selection drop down for not windowed. Yeah, there is uh, basically just some quality of life stuff, some audio quality of life and some networking changes that we're not gonna go over in here so yeah i mean that i think covers most of the changes out of this uh this update it's not quite an operation i don't think but at least it gives people a reason again to play the game i think the game has been stagnant for the longest time people just stopped having a reason to play including me i i just couldn't find myself playing the game again because i felt that the ranks are still broken, you still can't get global elite on any of the competitive. Premiere is filled with cheaters, and there is absolutely no reward. Well, now at least there is some sort of a reward for playing the game. You get to uh, level up your uh, your passes and get yourself a chance to possibly earn like 500 quid or something with the M4A1 as Fade or, or the Ops Mech or the uh, AK-47 B the Monster. So there you have it. That's, uh, I think, everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, walkthrough of all of the new things out of this uh, armory update. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. And since this is a case opening channel, I have just activated all five of my passes. And that gives me five credits. So uh, let's use them up on this uh, Overpass 2024 collection. See what we get. Uh, yeah, get item. Oh, wow, there's a, even a little animation. Oh, we got a Mac 10 pipsqueak. It's not the, not the worst drop. Here they go, Bye.